Ladies, ladies, we are here tonight on the show. Where the fuck did I leave my the lid? WTF is the fucking lid. The market's gonna fucking dry. My gosh, you fucking kidding me? Where the future of the show is in jet? The fuck is the lid? WTF is happening right now. Oh, okay, found it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show tonight. We are here tonight on the show. Everybody calm down. Everything is relaxed. Um, tonight we are going to talk about Seattle. What will Seattle do in the two thousand in the two thousand in, in, in this upcoming season, two thousand eight, two thousand season? Um, what what are they gonna do? All right. So Seattle, they're not what they used to be. They they lost Richard Sherman in free agency um, to San Francisco. Um, you know, um, Lynch has been gone for a while. Um, um, the um, retired um, Cam Chandler, the safety retired. Um, Thomas, the other safety, um, he, he 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 wants a long he wants a contract extension. He has not been able to get one, so now he's either saying either I get a contract extension or I want to trade. They're having a lot of problems, and Thomas is really the last player from that Legion of Boom. So if he get if he if he were to leave, they are all gone. Cam um, Cam Chandler retired. Richard Sherman left for San Francisco, and Earl Thomas may get traded. And if that happens, if Earl Thomas leaves, forget about it. The Legion of Boom is history. Um, they lost their obviously um, a few years ago. They lost Marshawn Lynch, their running back. Um, they're they're losing players. They're 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 running out of money. You know, it's it's Wilson. You still got Wagner, the linebacker. Oh, um, they also lost um, uh, Michael Bennett, the defensive lineman, to to the Eagles. They are losing players. This is not that. This is not that. Two thousand and um, well, I'm gonna say what? Two thousand and thirteen. You know, Seattle team, it, 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 it has started to fall apart a little bit. Players are starting to get traded and leaving. All right, so let's talk about their season. Um, uh, I'm going to say around seven and nine wins because to me, Russell Wilson is still a top five quarterback in this league. To me, to me. Um, look at that line that's protecting him. They don't do a very good job. The reason why sometimes he's able to buy time to make a throw is because of his ability to move around the pocket. You know, I love, no, I, well, no. Um, I like Russell Wilson, okay? I really do. He's an amazing guy, short guy, but makes a lot of stuff happen. To me, he's still one of the greatest quarterbacks out there in this league. Let's look at their, let's look at, let's look at their schedule, shall we? Okay. First versus Denver in the high altitude of Denver. That could be a problem. They could lose that game. I, I don't know. Anytime you go up to Denver, it, it can be a problem. It can be a problem. Seattle is known for starting off slow starts. You know, they're all, you know, because it, I, I don't know. I don't know why. It, it kind of seems to take them a little while to figure things out. You know, usually they get going around week five. You know, the first few weeks are a little bit, they're trying to figure out who they are exactly. So that could be a loss just because of two things. They don't know who the hell they are yet. And two, going up to Denver is also a problem because of the high altitude. All right, next, at Carolina, that could be a win, but it could be a loss too. If Carolina is about shit, you have got to win most of your home games. Um, next, they go to Dallas. Jerry's house. That's a 50-50 game. Um, I'm actually excited for that game. Um, but that could be a 50. That could be either win a win or a loss. Next, you go to Arizona. I saw Arizona. I saw. I, I watched a little bit of the um, the game they played the other day. Yeah, they have no line. Like literally, like Power, Sam Bradford, and um, Josh Rosen are in trouble. We'll talk about them tomorrow. Um, that that will be a win. Um, next, you go to the um, you got the LA Rams coming into town. If you are about shit this year and you're trying to do something this year, you have got to beat the LA Rams in Seattle. This is a team that gives you a lot of problems. But damn it, if you're going to be about shit this year, this is a team you have got to beat at least the first time around in your house. Um, next, you play the Raiders. You go to the Raiders' house. 
Uh, I feel like if the Raiders are about shit and they're going to do something, they have got to win that game at their house. But the, hey, Seattle has a chance. We'll see. Next, Detroit. Ah, eh, they'll beat Detroit at their house. Um, next, LA Chargers coming into Seattle. It's going to be another good game. I think if Seattle's about shit, having the LA Chargers come into their house, they have got to beat them. I got Seattle winning. Next, you go to Los Angeles to play Los Angeles Rams. This is game you lose. I think you beat them at your house, and then you, when you go to Los Angeles, you lose over there. Um, next, you got the Packers. Um, you got them coming into Seattle. You always, they always gave them, them problems, you know. So I think Seattle finds a way to win that game. They have always given them problems. Seattle, to me, wins. Next, you got, um... Who the fuck is this? Carolina? Um, you go to Carolina, um, you'll win that. Well, no, if Carolina's about shit, you win that game. Next, you go to San Francisco. You got San Francisco coming to your house. Um, if you're about shit, you need to win that game. Next, you go to Minnesota. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, that's probably your hardest game of this. Well, the, the Los Angeles Rams and um, that Minnesota game is going to be your hardest. That could be a loss. San Francisco at San Francisco. If San Francisco's about shit, they have got to worry about to win to beat Seattle at their house. Um, next, Kansas City at Kansas City. That could be a loss. That's gonna be late in the year. It's gonna be late in the year. Cold weather. Kansas City. Can, you know what? I don't, I'm gonna say Seattle wins. I don't. I, this year, I don't think Kansas City going to the playoffs. We'll see though. They might. They might. They might. They might mathematically be eliminated by there. Um, finish up against Arizona. Um, if it matters, Seattle will get it. By this time, most likely Seattle, I'm mean, me, Arizona math math mathematically will be eliminated. Alright, so I'm gonna say seven to nine wins just because I feel like Los Angeles Rams are a very good football team. If they can figure it out, if they can figure it out, I feel they're gonna be the a hard football team. San Francisco, if Jimmy um, Garoppolo and, and, and Kyle Shanahan and them can figure it out, they're going to win some football games. So I'm going to say about 7-9, Rano, you, Rhino, Rano, you were asking me if the Seattle suck. I don't think they suck to the simple fact they still got one of the best quarterbacks in the league and Russell Wilson. But they, they did not the 2013 Seattle Seahawks, Ronald. So don't, don't, don't. I, I, I feel for sure the Los Angeles Rams are a better football team, and I feel like they're right there um, with um, with um, um, San Francisco. Um, I feel that I might take Seattle just because of the experience of Russell Wilson. Jimmy um, um, Garoppolo has only literally played seven games in the National Football League. Okay, everybody needs to understand that everybody's on the Jimmy Gel, um, Jimmy L, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, bandwagon. The guy has literally only been in playing in football for seven games. You smell me? All right. Seven to nine wins. Some of you may get a little bit mad and say more, but hey, this is not the 2013 Seattle team, so they lost a lot of players. Other than Tom, there's nobody from that secondary still there. Um, so I'm going to say somewhere, somewhere, somewhere from seven to nine wins. All right, ladies, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight on the show. Um, and until next time, I am CE. I am the as good as advertised. I am the greatest man to ever live. And I will see you.